this is Blackie and he got tangled in a fence I think it was in July and we've been doing a lot of the same doctoring except for we've had to do a little bit more because he had proud flesh so we've had to wrap it a few times and put some other um, sort of an Amish home remedies on it trying to eat down the proud flesh so it wouldn't be sticking out and have a big scar um, so yeah it's just been a tricky one to get and you have pictures of it when it happened? Yeah, I have pictures from day one throughout, so we'll post that sometime. But yeah, it's taken a little more extensive because of the extra proud flesh that was on it. So what did you do first? Um, we put Johnny Y powder. We used the, that's a, the guy that was like 102 years old when he died. It's an Amish guy that made it, and it's got gunpowder and different stuff in it. We'd use that to eat the proud flesh. We'd also put the MG2, we'd use olive oil, we'd use DMSO, Epsom salt, and nitrofurazone, and we'd wrap it with saran wrap, and then a vet wrap, and then we've also used our smuts that we call that has the lard, um, olive oil, sulfa, and iodine in that, and we'd wrap it too. Sometimes we'd leave it out to the air, so we've done a few different things trying to keep the proud flesh down. And he also had, um, two shots of the Exceed also penicillin stuff when it happened. But other than that, we no stitches and it looks really good from when it started. So yeah. What was, how long ago was that again? I, I can't remember, late July or late June or first of July. I'll have to look at my pictures and okay. see. So less than journeys, but still it's been a good month or so okay. since we've been doctoring or more than a month. So yeah, today looks really good. We're making progress. Great. Less, less proud flesh is a good thing. And what's proud flesh? Proud again? flesh is just where it grows extra, and we're trying so he doesn't have a big scar and a big um, bump that's grown out there. We were trying to shrink it down so it'll be smoother in texture, so you won't see it as bad. You'll see a scar, but it won't be sticking out as bad. Okay. So that's all I how I know to explain proud flesh. So. Great. Thank you. You're welcome.